Hey everyone, it's Noel Christopher with Renner's Warehouse. Really been thinking about as we're growing our portfolio services uh, division and team to, to serve uh, investors around the country, we've been really trying to figure out what the right structure is and how we can truly work together as a team, be efficient and have the same goals. And it kind of brings me to that quote from Aristotle about the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. And it's really true. And I think that if you can figure out an optimal way for the team to work together and the right structure, uh, you can be really successful. And in fact, Google just did a study recently that really dove into what makes teams successful. And they really can, and there's an article that came out in Inc. I'll post a link here, but uh, there is a correlation with the quality of the skills possessed by the team and the success of the team. So that's f uh, first and foremost, you need to have the right team members in place that have complementary skills and that are all that are all working towards the same goal. So there's a couple of things here, really five. Uh, so can, you know, this is some things that we're thinking about. So can we as a team take risk without feeling insecure or embarrassed? That's really important. And in other words, how safe do they feel experimenting uh, and trying creative things together? And, and you really need to have a team that can do that. Uh, number two is, can we count on each other to deliver high quality results on time? How much do we trust each other? Those are very, very important. You've got to have trust within your team. Are the goals and roles clear? And so that's something that a lot of people have an issue with and a lot of teams can fall apart in this area. You know, does everybody know precisely what they're doing and why? Uh, the fourth one is, are we working on something that is personally meaningful to each of us? So that's very important, you know, do, do they truly genuinely care about the, the goal, the project and the desired outcome? So if you don't have people that are passionate about what they're doing, uh, it, it's really tough. And you know, that segues into the last one is do we fundamentally believe the work we're doing matters? Um, you know, what are you motivated by? Are you motivated by the importance and, and impact of the work? Or are you just motivated by money? If you're just motivated by money, it's usually not going to work. Now the money's going to come if you have the right goals and vision and and uh, reasons why you're doing it. But we really, you know, for example, we really believe that we're doing the right thing for the SFR space and for investors and helping them earn more wealth, helping portfolio, giving portfolio holders a place where they can buy and sell and realize the returns and realize the hard work they've got they've done in building these portfolios uh, and. You know, so it doesn't have to be socially impactful. It needs to be impactful for your industry, for what you believe in. And uh, I, I think those five things are really important to building a team. And it's something that we're really, truly working on here at Renner's Warehouse to figure out how to structure our team to be the most successful for ourselves and for our company. Be really curious about what everybody thinks. Uh, please comment and share. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Bye.